Today, we are diving into a question that confuses a lot of people. Why do European trucks run massive engines, 700, even 707 horsepower, while most American trucks rarely go beyond 550? And it's not just about power. Why are the cups so different? Why does the torque delivery change so much? Why did two continents create completely different philosophies? to do the exactly same job. And here's the question almost no one answers correctly. If American trucks are bigger, why do they use smaller engines? So subscribe and leave a like or dislike. Enjoy! Between two continents, there's a distance you can't measure in miles, but in philosophy. One word stretches out in endless straight lines. The other twists through ancient roads, tight corners, tunnels, and mountains carved like stone walls. These landscapes shape their engines, each region molded by its own rules, its own challenges, its own history. In Europe, every gear needs instant reaction, every hill demands precision and strength. In America, the road demands consistency long hours in the same direction, big engines running cool, slow, and nearly immortal. These engines didn't become different by accident. They became different because their worlds are different. In the United States, the land is wide, open, and predictable. Major highways cut straight across the country like lines drawn on a map. A truck can drive for days without dramatic changes in terrain, low RPM, steady speed, gentle grades. That reality created engines built to run cool, slow and for well over a million miles. But Europe tells another story. Narrow roads, sharp curves, steep tunnels, and brutal climbs. Altitude changes within minutes. Weight demands immediate response. The terrain requires engines that deliver strength and precision. That's why European engines climbed past 600, 700, even 770 horsepower. Not for show, but because the road demands it. In the United States, the maximum legal weight is 80,000 pounds, about 36 tons. It doesn't matter how many axles you add, the limit is fixed. And under that limit, a 450 to 550 horsepower engine does everything required. In Europe, the law changes by country. Sweden allows 60 tons, sometimes up to 90. Finland allows 76, with tests reaching 90. Much of the EU ranges from 40 to 44 tons, with the increases depending on axle count. When the weight increases and the terrain fights back, the engine has to grow. For decades, American trucks were almost exclusively manual, 13-speed, 18-speed, giving the driver full control. The engine had to survive human error, late shifts, hard downshifts, over revving, under revving. That forced the American philosophy, big pistons, long stroke, low RPM, extreme durability. In Europe, automation arrived earlier, Volvo iShift, Scania OptiCruise, ZF Traxxon. Systems that read the road, the weight, the incline, shifting at the perfect moment that allowed European engines to become sharper, more efficient, and significantly more powerful. Today, both continents use automated transmissions, but the roots remain. America values longevity, Europe values responsiveness and refinement. When you understand these differences, everything starts to make sense. If you work on the road, if you love trucks, 
or even if you play on the simulator, you can clearly see how each continent built its own identity. In the United States, it's about the distance, fuel economy, and engines built to run forever. In Europe, it's about precision, efficiency, and stand torque. There is no better engine. There is only the right engine for the right road. Before we wrap up, there's one more thing. Something no spec sheet will ever show. Culture. In Europe, a truck is identity. Lighting, tuning, paintwork, the sound of a V8, all of it shapes the preference for strong engines and compact cabs. In the United States, the value is reliability. Long distances living inside the cab, simple maintenance, and engines designed to cruise slowly for years. The way drivers live on the road shapes the machine, not the other way around. In the end, the difference between American and European engines is simple. Europe carries heavier loads and climbs tougher terrain, so it needs horsepower. America drives long, straight distances for days, so it needs durability. Europe refined responsive engines through early automation. America built long stroke, simple, dependable engines through decades of manual tradition. These engines were built for the roads that raised them. And that's why a 770 horsepower Scania 58 makes no sense crossing Kansas and a 500 horsepower Cummins would struggle heavily pulling 70 tons in the Alps. Two worlds, two roads, engines designed to do exactly what their world demands.